Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you what I'm putting in my kids' stocking stuffers. We all decorated for Christmas and also a few extra ideas of the little gifts that I've given them over the years that were always an absolute hit. If you're new to my channel, I have a three and a half year old boy and a five and a half year old girl. And when I do my gifts, I really like buying things that are meaningful and won't end up in the trash anytime soon. So I will start with my youngest and I will show you what I've got in his stocking stuffer. Okay, so I am going to start with this item right here. It is ginormous grow, ginormous hatch and growing dino. Um, both kids actually getting one of those because it has a second one. It is sold as a set of two. Had pretty good reviews on Amazon and my kids have been asking about getting like a hatching dinosaur hatching something. So that's what they're getting. Again, the reviews are pretty good. Anyway, then my next thing is the orange, crazy orange thinking potty. I actually put it in their stockings last year and we've played with it all year long until it got so disgustingly dirty that I got had to get rid of it. So they have different types and I know it's sometimes hard to decide which ones you want to get. I would say stick to the ones that change color or glow in the dark, especially if you have younger children, like the glow in the dark ones we love. So for Justin, I'm getting this dragon scales glow bright. So this one glows in the dark. And for Scarlet, I got the Amethyst Blast, and this one is heat sensitive and it changes colors. So any of those that change colors or glow typically work. I know everybody is sharing those, but bath bombs are really a very good stocking stuffer and mine are from um, Eco Time, made in the United States and they come with the dinosaurs inside. They come as a set of three and they're pretty big. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put all of them at the same time or I might, you know, put one and then give the other one as a surprise some other time. But if they're pretty big and they smell really good. One thing I have to say, I did have some dinosaur bath bombs in the past and they were this super bright colors that stained my bathtub. So um, I have not looked at those yet. We'll see what we're gonna do about it, but just be mindful of that. Don't buy extra bright colors. I believe those were a bit of pastel colors and that's why I went with it. This is the last thing on my list. It's a Lego Creator. It does say six plus. Justin is going on four and I think he will be all right with this. He really enjoys deconstructing our Duplo Lego sets. I think he will do fine with it. And if you can make an airplane, a jet and a helicopter out of this, they also have different sets. They have Duplo sets that are this small. So if your child is a little younger and you want to introduce them to Duplo as a Lego so on a smaller scale, this would be a good stocking stuffer as well. I'm going to move on to my five and a half year old and then share with you all of like the cool gender neutral little things you can put in the stocking stuffers. So she already, you already know she's getting the, the crazy orange potty and the egg as well. Here's the things that are different for her. She's getting this actually, I went back and I bought her the same thing I put in her stocking stuffers two years ago. Amaza, Amaza pants, glitter gel ink pants. Comes with this really cute plastic case that she can carry. And two years ago, she loved it. And now I think she's like truly ready for it. So actually, if you have a three-year-old who is really artsy, this would be a good stocking stuffer because again, two years ago, she was way younger and she loved it. And I also got her this uh, sequence notebook, make magic happen. And then make a unicorn. And then you could do like this do like magic you know so it's really cute it's just a lined notebook i know she'll love it and use it because we already had it and it was a, a big hit so this is like a set the next thing that i have for her is model magic it's a smaller package there is so many and i've been wanting to buy a big one but i just don't want to do it for christmas her birthday is like three months after Christmas. So I think if she will use this enough, I will get her like a nice big set of it. But she's been using Play-Doh to make all kinds of sculptures. And if you've seen Play-Doh dry out, they all crumble, fall apart, and they don't look nearly as nice as when she creates them. So, um, I mean, I think she'll love it. 
sure I, this is like scratching my own itch kind of stocking stuffer i'm hoping i'll be able to fit all this in her stocking uh if not i'll have to unpack a few things oh and i almost forgot so both of them are getting some puffy stickers just for fun because puffy stickers are always good this is for scarlet um a unicorn christmas unicorn and justin is giving me some animals because he loves animals now let's get to the fun little additions that you can put in your stockings the first thing i wanted to share with you is this nut geo light it's called wild and it comes with different caps i found only three because we've actually had ours for about three and a half almost four years the camel the elephant and i think there's like a tiger and somebody oh a lion for sure so what it does it's when it's dark at night and it's actually perfect for winter time because it gets dark so early it gives you something to do with your little ones when the lights go out and i don't know if you can see but it basically creates a shadow of that animal my kids love it kids love flashlights period but this is makes it extra special and fun we also have a dinosaur flashlight this one is a little bit better the way they did the the pictures itself but that one was also a hit the next one on my list of cool little additions to your kids stocking stuffers is a kaleidoscope so there's many different ones ours is actually not from amazon it was a gift from my mom's trip uh, but the kids love kaleidoscope if you're not familiar just look with one eye this i would say three and up because younger children will have a very hard time trying to like look with one eye and figure out how to use it so uh but it makes up all kinds of different designs a really cool thing to have in your playroom but just a fun little addition so moving on uh, my favorite things that i always tell that my kids love and there is such a big selection a safari ltd tubs with animals so i'm just going to show you an ex two examples i don't have the tubs itself because mine are all in a basket they have dragons they have all kinds of animals they have dinosaurs each tub is about 12 dollars, and it comes with 10 to 11 figurines they have fairies egypt cars things that go I mean any kind of thing that you can imagine that kind of cover it all of your kids interests and another thing that we do we put it in a uh, picture box so Scarlett does it Justin doesn't as much because he doesn't like to create the scenes but if you have an older child you can like we created a fairy garden with all of her fairies so having that in the stocking and it's really small and it fits nicely the next little addition are the finger puppets from Ikea they come as a set of 10 and both of my children really enjoy them. Justin loves them still. Sky kind of, I've kind of outgrown them. She likes like regular puppets more. But if you have like a little animal lover, those are absolutely awesome. They're inexpensive as well. Then another cool addition, I feel like for the stocking stuff, if you want to put a bulk of any kind, and that will fit kind of any interest, especially for younger children, is this yoga bug. It's simple poses for little ones um i got it when scarlet was two and i remember we were flipping through it it has really good illustrations it will fit the stocking and uh, it kind of teaches your child basic yoga poses and the yoga flow it's really fun for family time and at the end kind of gives you the whole idea for yoga flow if you have a bit older kid i would definitely not recommend it for anybody under the age of five maybe four and a half year old if they're really like really into it is this beads they have fusible beads from Perle. i actually saw the same beads in ikea as well i like this because they come with so many ideas and different booklets and they have so many different sets so my five and a half year old loves those loves them we did so many different figurines with them and they are really cool they come so this is kind of a bigger set and that i can't show you that i actually filmed it at michael's they sell it at Michael's Hobby Lobby, pretty much in most major stores, and um, they come in smaller sizes, so it would be a perfect stocking stuffer edition. If you have a kid that is artsy, but is younger than my daughter, for example, you can always get really cool chunky crayons on Etsy. When I was picking out my kid's stocking stuffers, I found a few that was like dinosaur shaped, car shaped ones. The only reason I haven't ordered them because Justin really does not care for coloring. so. It would not serve me any purpose but i thought i'll include it in this list just in case you have a, a little one who loves coloring or drawing 
And the last thing that I wanted to share in this list is uh, Hot Wheels cars. This is specifically for little boys, but I feel like you can never go wrong. It's kind of like the Safari LTT tubs. Um, the Hot Wheels cars for little boys, they will always be happy no matter how many they have. They will always be happy to unwrap some. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some good ideas. Make sure to give me a like if you did and subscribe to my channel for more to reviews, ideas for activities for kids, and also Montessori at home and all kinds of mommy-related content. I hope to see you soon.